Good day everyone. It's 12.45 p.m. 26 January Friday and we have a disclosure and uh, a future trading there is a high risk and if you cannot stomach the risk winning losing then uh, maybe trading is not good for you. Today we're gonna do the opposite. We have seen the last two days how the auto trade when the markets are running how the auto trades uh, made thousands of dollars and today we're gonna see the bad side when the market is not moving so uh, let me give you an example if we look today now because it's a Friday as I have said uh, on my previous video usually on Friday uh, after one o'clock sometimes on a Friday the market goes one direction and those what you are looking at because it's a Friday and now probably the ES is gonna go one direction the rest of the evening so we cannot right now uh, concentrate on what happening on the ES because this is sometimes will happen on a Friday either the market take a dive or the market uh, goes up and non-stop for the rest of the session but uh, today if we look it's 1247 today so get it out of the way if we notice we don't have practically beside the DAX forget the DAX we don't have any charts hit the target not even 500 we have a couple lousy charts made uh, $600 and we can cover it and uh, despite that uh, spike what we have right now on the ES less and especially that video to the amateur trading because it, they have the habit when uh, they make money you don't hear a beep but when they lose money they blame they have to blame somebody so let's go ahead and cover what happened with the ES and today if you notice we took that trade from 611 from the yesterday video we took four trades on the ES all day long and made over a thousand dollar today is the same strategy and it's been a lousy day and I'm gonna show you the one minute today we took that trade here what happened the market took it out fine then the auto trade took short then the market went the other direction very fine then the market start going okay and this is folks like what i said yesterday that when your auto trade is not making money there is no professional trader is making money even if the guy sitting 20 years behind the screen most likely um, there is a smoke coming out of his ears and his nose then the market start going up fair enough let's go long we went long and then what happened by the time you get couple takes the market turn around okay fine then let's go short it didn't work then let's go long short didn't didn't go okay let's go long didn't go short hardly break even the market went up on an empty hot balloon come back pulling back re-enter perfect entry what happened the market gave us a few dollars here turn around and close us out again the market went up pull them back we entered the market and the market took a dive and this is very important for the amateur trader to understand that auto trading is not some kind of holy uh, coming from the sky it is mechanical trading and when there is no trade does not mean you need to trash any kind of auto trade you have or from doesn't matter which company you have it uh, the auto trade it's not just my auto trade and there we go we took a trade now this one here I can explain that on a Friday on every Friday around this time around one o'clock the market take direction most of the Fridays not every Friday most of the Fridays so that spike uh, now because it's a Friday and now we are heading around one o'clock it could go 
uh, all the way up for the rest of the day, or maybe, but normally on a Friday, the, the, the market uh, goes in one direction. So you can do that uh, if you want to make a bet on the, on the Fridays. There is a lot of traders do that. They don't talk about it in the public, but there is a lot of traders that don't like to dive into the chop market uh, doing uh, the Friday because the Friday is an early start. They wait till everything is calm and then they come in around one o'clock and try to see if there is any direction. There is some, and I used to be one of them, do that, and I used to love to do that on a different platform, not on this one here. But uh, this is uh, the story for um, uh, the ES. So. It's been a losing day all day long on the ES and a lot of trades. And this is when the, the, the auto trade taking a lot of trades. This is a bad news because the more trades you take in the market, the more danger you are and the more you are exposing your, um, uh, your account and that it is very expensive uh, to stay in the market when the market is not moving. So if we are looking at that, um, chart itself on the one minute it is one straight line we have a little bit here and it is caught in this channel here useless it's totally useless so again for the amateur trader I know is aggravation for you because you are expecting to make money every day but uh, welcome to trading this is not gonna happen not today not tomorrow not with a different auto trade this is not gonna happen in the trading you it's not gonna be sunny every day and uh, let's look also uh, on the CL we see there is a $600 target here today let's see how uh, this happened also again if we notice on the CL which e, uh, the CL today by the way folks did the best run today out of all those markets today the CL was moving the most despite that we don't have any chart hit the target just a couple lousy chart a losing trade look at this a losing trade after this market start taking off we took a trade didn't make it okay flat here there is no trend here the market start taking a dive on the first pullback we entered the market nothing happened then though we took short a little money barely can cover those losses here then when the market start trending we took a trade and then the market took a dive then the auto trade uh, close it and then we took short, didn't make it. Then we took long, didn't make it. Then we took short, didn't make it. And then here we took a short, hoping that this market going to go down. And then we barely made a few takes. And then we got lucky. And this is, we don't know what, when we're going to be lucky. This is the problem. We don't know when this market is moving. Nobody knows. Uh, at 11.11, the market moved a bit. We took one, two, three right on the road and four, fine. And that's actually what saved us from a disaster on that chart. The reason is because the market moved a little bit. And and this is it. The, this is what happened. And um, uh, let's take uh, the NASDAQ one minute. It's just as sad a story as the ES and the rest of the market. Long, short, break even. Look at this. And from from um, from almost eight fifty until until ten fifty, it was not even one trade. And look at this. That will kill you, this one here, if you had a huge stop loss. 
but thanks God we have it on a very small but this is very expensive and then when the market uh, took a run we were right into that trade the last trade guys on a Friday now is irrelevant because it's a Friday and now the market take one direction but it was a very nasty day in the market whether you are a manual trading or um, or uh, auto trading uh, it's the same story all over the place let me try to find uh, something else uh, let's look at the YM I cannot find YM okay let's look at the YM uh, 244 ticks see what happened on the 244 ticks it's the same story guys look at this <laughs> look at this from 633 the auto trade is trying every time the market changed direction the auto trade took a trade and it just simply no luck look at this guys no luck what and the last trade is not countable guys the last trade is not countable because it's a Friday afternoon that's a different game so if we are how come the last two days we had the charts made thousands of dollars on one trade and how come on a, on a today uh, the market every trade is losing why I was given a support right now to one guy he is a good trader he understood uh, what happened today I have two guys sending me message on the Skype to come and look at their setting because the auto trade is not making money and uh, they are new traders and I have sent them a message welcome to trading and I have been explaining and teaching one-on-one -on -one that it cannot be honey every day and it will never be honey every day you keep looking the rest of your life this is it's not gonna happen folks let's put put you back to reality here so what I what I wanna uh, decided today to put the traders back on the ground and showing today results and the results are disasters so despite the last trade today we lost money all day long I couldn't find even one trade to trade for our friend uh, uh, the guy we've been uh, following uh, the guy he made the uh, eight thousand seven hundred the last couple of days this uh, officer here so today I have sent him a message I said as a 10k yep eleven thousand two hundred sixty you know and then he freaked me out because I couldn't find a trade how in the hell he did and then the guy I don't trade neither one of those uh, the 6g and the ng I don't trade so I don't know uh, how they did today I know the NG is like the DAX can move uh, very fast. I, I don't know anything about the 6G. It's not my piece of cake. Look good so far. And then he put it on a one minute, just over 2,500. But he traded. Uh, and of course, the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ had a little move, but uh, was not impressive on the NASDAQ today. And I'll show you. I think I did show you the NASDAQ. Um, let's take another Nasdaq or let's take the one minute on the Russell look at this guys from an auto trade designed to take one or two trades to nail five six hundred dollars a day look at this again if you notice the market is 
is taken off nicely and smoothly on the first pullback we enter that market that any professional trader will take it on the fib support line or whatever he have under his sleeves this is a very on a pullback if you have your fibs is acceptable to take your uh, your entry here and then look the minute you took it the market took a dive we took a short the market went up we took long the market barely broke even a breakout on the short we took a short to follow the trend what happened the market came back okay look we took short the market turned around on us fine then we go long then the market turned around on us okay then we go long and then the short then we go short then the market goes long and it is a game when the market is refusing to give you money the money uh, the, the market is refusing to give you money there is nothing we can do we just sit on the side and that is today any guy is auto trading and did not make money he's blaming whatever he got the auto trade from and he's gonna be very pissed about it the only one you can be pissed you have to accept that trading there is a high risk trading cannot be winning every day and not every trader will succeed in this market and as simple as that and if as anyone can have better challenge welcome and uh, we wish you the best but uh, this is a reality and uh, today i'm proud to show that our auto trade was a disaster today and uh, and uh, uh, let's let me try to find one more market we covered the ym we covered the dax i'm not gonna cover the the dax because also the dax today there were I mean, we had a few charts hit the target, but this is irrelevant. And um, the worst, let me see what else we have. For, for the four range traders, let me show you also. Look, this is all day long. You take a trade, make a few takes, go on back right into where you bought. Also on the YM, if we notice. It's like somebody picking on you every time you're taking a trade, he's taking the market the other direction. It's just to let you have fun. Like, look at this. And then from 9.31, to 1016 it was not even one trade short long barely cover your commission and it is a disaster so this uh, video is especially for guys that are new in this business if you look on the last couple of videos, you can see when the market is moving, we made thousands. When the market is not moving, when the market is not moving on the first hour from you trading, or two hours on your first, uh, when you start, you need to call it off. And this is the biggest example today. We show you the CL, YM, ES, Russell, all day long losing 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 all day long the way it is when you have a good day you have to save your bread sometimes till the bad days and then you start leveling with your management because if you traded the last couple of days even in nasdaq at least you walked away with a couple of three thousand dollars Today, you would have put partial of this money back in. 
normally uh, on uh, when the market runs for a couple days like this usually uh, there is a lot of profit taken and people don't don't want to deal with it anymore and that is going to die one of the trick also when the market spikes on any given chart let's say the market I mean today this is <laughs> this is the biggest spike on the ES today on the 244 how sick it is and if we look okay here is one this is a good example we had a good start but remember whether you are a manual or your auto trading after a big run any time frame expect the next half an hour sideways so if a guy come in at 10.45 he want to trade and if he sees that he needs to stop uh, go on a sim with the auto trading because if this one here happened look what happened after this market took off so it is the last trade was at 10.45 look at this the first Wednesday uh, trade again it was 12.25 and look how many trades did not make it and if we look at this picture here I covered that uh, yesterday right there you see where is the highs right there nothing nothing So guys, I'm not uh, asking for whatever type of auto trade you're using is very fine. I'm not for the guys they auto trade. You don't have to learn price action. But to please for God's sake, look at the chart and ask yourself why I did not make money today. And um, it happened to be most of those guys they have a three four five thousand dollar they want to trade the cl es down zones see i mean they want to grab the whole market for three four thousand dollar and they get pissed or they're feeling hurt when they don't make money and you will never make money because first of all you come in to the market very weak if i have a three four thousand dollar in my account i will trade one nasdaq and I'll allow myself to take one or two trades a day in order for me to survive bad days. And that we, do, we hear all the time. When I say to a customer, you're gonna have a bad day, th they don't accept it. They say, what's wrong with your auto trade? Why do we have a bad days? Well, to cut the story short, in our auto trade, we do have bad days and maybe it is not suitable for you and if you are looking for an auto trade is have a good days every day I'm very sure there is somebody out there will take your money for it folks I'm proud to show our disaster trading today Okay, that's all what we have for you uh, today and uh, wish you a very nice weekend and uh, stay safe next week. God bless you all and uh, wish you a really pleasant, nice weekend. Bye for now.